So I wanted to talk a little bit about a project I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. Um, one of the things I've been doing with uh, the downtime I've been having during this, uh, well, it'll, let's just let it go nameless, what we're going through right now. But uh, one of the things I've done to try to keep myself occupied is uh, started uh, building guitars in my spare time. And I want to talk a little bit about uh, this one guitar that I started working on. So one of the things I've always wanted to have was a uh, was a Gibson Les Paul. Uh, it's one of my favorite guitars. Uh, a lot of my favorite guitar players have used it. And one of the problems that I think a lot of uh, budding musicians will probably run into is that the the price of a uh, of a Les Paul, uh, if you're trying to buy one new at least. Uh, they're kind of expensive here. So you can see here, some of these are, you know, reissues and stuff like that. And I have to say, I absolutely love Gibson guitars. I think they make very high quality guitars. But uh, that puts it outside the price range of uh, the average person. So one of the things that I think uh, people might want to think about doing is actually try building your own guitar. So... You can go online and you can find a bunch of these different kits. They range in price from, you know, uh, just under like uh, $70 to a couple hundred dollars. Uh, and I actually found a kit for around uh, $140, $150, $150 uh, that is essentially, it's a, it's, a good, it's a Les Paul style guitar kit. And uh, I actually went to uh, a company called uh, Bargain Musician. And they have these different kits here that you can you can buy. And uh, one of the things uh, I thought was interesting about this was that um, when you go through the process of actually building your, your own guitar, uh, you have to do a fair amount of the work yourself when it comes to sanding and finishing that sort of stuff. And so one of the things I did was uh, I actually took the body and uh, taped it off here. And then I used a... Uh, uh, just a regular like clothing dye to darken the, uh, uh, the 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 front of the guitar, and once I did that, I uh, I went through and I sanded that back. So what I was trying to do is trying to get uh, kind of raise the uh, uh, raise the grain so that you know uh, the contrast would be easier to see in the, in the body, and then I went for. Uh, uh, another uh, la layer of dye here where I did kind of uh, not quite a, um, a starburst or sunburst type finish, but, you know, something close to that. And it didn't come out the way that uh, I was hoping it would come out, but actually I think it looks pretty good the way that it did come out. And so uh, uh, the final product winds up looking kind of like this. There's the uh, finished guitar right here. Um, and I just went through and I did a stain, uh, did a stain on the, uh, on the neck and then on the rest of the body. Uh, and then I put a, uh, a, a number of coats of polyurethane on the, the back of the neck and on the, the entire guitar body. And I think it actually might have come in looking pretty nice. So when you buy those kits, one of the issues you're going to run into is that the, uh, you know, they're getting the, the electronics and a lot of the different pieces and stuff uh, uh, pretty inexpensively. And so one of the things you can do is you can actually go through and go to a website, let's say like Reverb, for example, and they have a, a, all kinds of different, you know, pickups uh, that you can buy on there. Uh, just regular guitar parts and stuff like that. If you want to re replace, let's say, the pinch geometers or maybe your bridge or something like that, you can go on to a website like this uh, and get that. And if you're just looking for, for a kit, you can actually go into eBay and you can find a bunch of different kits here for different prices. You can pretty much find anything you want. So if you're looking to buy... Uh, a kit that's more of a super strat or strat or you want to build a telecaster style guitar and stuff like that you can find all of these on here as well so uh, I figure what might be nice is to actually listen to hear what the guitar actually sounds like so I'm just plugged into a uh, 
uh, practice amp here, but I'm going to turn this up here. any questions about this please let me know uh, it was a fun project and um, I think it's a good way of uh, if you're looking to get uh, a guitar like a Les Paul or maybe a Stratocast or something like that uh, but you don't want to spend all the money uh, one of the things that's good about this is that um, uh, on top of being able to get a guitar for a lot less money going through the process of actually building the guitar you learn a lot more about how the guitar actually works and so uh, with this guitar in particular, one of the things I had to do was uh, I actually had to do all the, the wiring. So I had to wear in all the pickups, all the potentiometers, um, and you learn a lot about uh, how a guitar works when you actually go through and, and wire it up. So uh, the other thing that's nice about this is it makes it that much easier once you've built your own guitar, if you want to, let's say, upgrade a guitar you already own with a newer electronics and stuff like that once you've gone through the process of building your own guitar it makes it a lot easier to uh to do things like upgrading the, uh you know all the different components on the guitar so um that was basically my experience of building a my own uh, uh les paul knockoff uh it's not an actual les paul we'll just call it a, a logan paul since i'm on youtube everybody have a nice weekend